Welcome to Design Interactive. We are experts in optimizing the human dimension. The project we're going to showcase today is called SHARPER. SHARPER stands for Sleep Homeostasis Acuity Readiness Program. It was designed for soldiers and mission planners to measure and optimize readiness to perform based on quality of sleep. The SHARPER system is multi-platform and incorporates wearables, web, iOS, and Android. DI's agile development process is user-centric, collaborative, cross-functional, and iterative, ensuring delivery of effective, efficient, and engaging systems. DI utilizes modern development and collaboration tools such as Slack, Jira, Amazon Web Services, integration tests, and automated UI tests. DI's process begins with the product manager. The product manager is responsible for all aspects of Sharper, such as scope, budget, milestones, deliverables, and identifying external and internal shareholders. Most importantly, the PM at DI makes sure that the development team keeps the end users at the center of the Agile process. Understanding user needs is absolutely critical and second nature to us at DI, where we employ a large contingent of human factors and psychology professionals. These researchers drive our discovery process where observations made using contextual inquiries, interviews, task analysis, and other methods allow us to get a clear picture of our user. All of the information gathered in discovery is synthesized into user stories and use cases that get prioritized based on stakeholder needs, again, driving home the importance of discovery. The user experience team, under the guidance of our design manager, Emily Hagen, uses this information to conduct a whiteboard brainstorming session that results in feature lists, workflows, and user flows. But this isn't a one-shot deal. Design may drive the session, but the outcome needs to be vetted by all stakeholders, including end users and our development team, not just against needs, but also for feasibility. After a few reviews and iterations of flow, the use cases and whiteboards are approved by all stakeholders. Now the team is centered on a user experience strategy built from the user with a series of prioritized use cases that can be organized into sprints. This is where the tactical work begins. User experience gets translated into user interface design, but not before crucial planning. Under the direction of Malachi Lawson, DI's Director of Software Engineering, sharper sprints are planned in increments of two weeks. During each sprint, the dev team and design team work collaboratively and have daily stand-ups. Feature and design updates are fed by user testing and bug reports, all of which are documented. All code is stored in version control and reviewed during code reviews. Our team commits all designs and all code to a central repository every day. You would think, based on the description thus far, our designers take stakeholder-approved use cases and get right to high-fidelity prototyping. That's not the case. Let's break down how our designers work. From whiteboard to napkin sketches back to the whiteboard, we stay low-fidelity at first, but rapidly begin to create interactive wireframes using tools such as Azure. These wireframes, we are about 80% confident in them, are what triggers our software development to begin. We are agile, so we know we won't be perfect the first time, we plan for about 20% uncertainty in the process. The interactive wireframes focus on information architecture, placement, navigation, workflow, and overall usability. Again, working a couple sprints ahead, the end users interact with the design and we can gather important user feedback that can allow us to refine designs for future sprints. Once the wireframes are approved, style guides and high fidelity prototypes are created. The high fidelity prototypes incorporate visual and interaction design on top of the existing approved flow. Again, by staying ahead of development, we can reduce implementation risk by using high fidelity prototypes as a blueprint for their execution. User juries or individual user tests are conducted to gain crucial user feedback on ease of use, time on task, completion of task, and aesthetic satisfaction. All of this feedback is again iterated and incorporated into the design. At this stage though, with all of the upfront feedback fed from stakeholders and users, the impact on design should be minimal. Our team is agile, works iteratively, and puts the user at the center of the process to minimize risk and deliver products on time, at budget, and exceeding stakeholder expectations.